Lauren here assisting us today. So for the beginners, what you're gonna do, you're gonna do this twice through. You're gonna work for 20 seconds and then you'll rest for 20 seconds. And you're gonna go through the entire workout once and then you'll repeat it again for the second time. Do bird dogs first. You're gonna start on all fours. You're gonna take your opposite arm out and opposite leg out at the same time, reaching out. And you'll hold for a second and then bring it in and you'll switch sides. The main thing with this move is you're keeping your core nice and flat. So you're not arching or sinking too much. You're just rotating. So she's gonna be doing that to her 20 seconds. Next exercise is going to be a bridge pulse. So you're gonna lie down on your back for this one. Your butt's gonna lift up in the air and then it's gonna lower back down. So you're gonna be pulsing down and up. You'll hold it again a couple seconds at the top and then you're gonna lower back down. So just like Lauren is doing. All right, our next move is a chest press. So you're gonna be lying down on your back, you're gonna have your weight. Again, for weights, I recommend between five and 10 pounds, depending on your level. You'll have one weight in each hand. You're gonna press up, meeting the weights in the middle, and then you're gonna go right back down. Since we're using the floor or the ground, your arms are gonna touch the floor and then they're gonna come back up. If you're doing this from a bench, they're just gonna go out to 90 degrees and then they're gonna push back up. Breathing out as you push the weights up. All right, our next move is squats with a side kick. For this move, you're gonna squat down as low as you can. You'll stand up and you're gonna kick out to one side. And then you'll perform a squat again, sitting down, and then you're gonna kick to the other direction. So you'll go through this at whatever pace is perfect for you. So if you need to take it a little slower, take it a little slower. If you wanna get your heart rate up a little bit more, you can go a little faster. If you're having problems with, with balance, holding onto a couch will help, and then just doing that 10 seconds on each side. All right, we got step ups next. So you can find a bench, a couch, a chair, something that's sturdy at your home, or even a step um, that you have if you have stairs in your house. We have a park bench since we're outside. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna place one foot on the step and you're gonna stand up and then you're gonna step back down, keeping that foot on the bench or the step the entire time. You'll do 10 seconds on each side. So once she does her 10 seconds, then she's gonna switch feet and she's gonna go up on the other leg for 10 seconds, down and up. As she's going up, she's pushing through that heel so she's really engaging her glute here a standing oblique twist. You'll need one dumbbell for this, probably on the little bit lighter side. It's a little bit more strenuous on the shoulder. You're gonna start with that dumbbell straight out in front of your chest. You're gonna twist to one side, and then you'll be back to the center. You'll twist the other direction, and then back to center. So just like Lauren is doing, keeping those arms nice and strong, and making sure you're breathing out as you're bringing it back to the center. Very good. Tap out Jack. This is like a jumping jack, only a little bit modified. So for this one, all you're gonna do is you're gonna do that jumping jack, you're gonna step out and then tap in. Step out, tap in, alternating side to side. So again, if you wanna go a little bit slower, you can. If you wanna take it up, you'll go a little bit faster with it, going side to side. Whatever pace works for you, you wanna get that heart rate up with this one. Last move is gonna be a squat with a hammer curl. You're gonna perform a squat, sitting down nice and low, butt down to a chair. As you stand up, you're gonna curl the weights up. So you'll uncurl and sit down, and then you're gonna stand and curl just like that. So sitting down nice and low, and stand, curl. The main thing is those knees are not going past those toes and your butt is going backwards. Perfect. 